Okay. So now... It's time for, for good coffee. Yeah. Get some coffee. We are right team now. And then um, uh, it's the time. Today I'm going to explain you some workout tips and common mistakes, you know. This is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Today, I mean, I wrote down everything here on my phone somewhere, you know. <laughs> somewhere. I have a list of okay. things okay. I wanted to. <laughs> here I have a list and it says, how to succeed in your diet. Ooh, this is what we're going to record mm -hmm. for you today, bro. Interesting. Good. How do you succeed in your diet? Yeah. How, 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 how? I mean, you should, you should tell me how to succeed in your diet. I can tell you, you know. First step, make sure you are dedicated and motivated. Are you dedicated and motivated? Are you? What is this language? What, you fix? <laughs> what, what is your accent? It's a Russian accent. <laughs> okay, next up. So uh, coffee first and then I'm going to explain the real okay. tips for succeeding your diet. Hey Joe. Can you explain me about five things that the mistake of diet, like you told me before? Five, I told you, <laughs> five common diet mistakes. Mm -hmm. So, what is the most important thing when you're dieting to know? Can you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> you need to know how much calories you are actually burning, right, during the day. Why? Why? Yeah, if you don't know how much calories you are burning, how should you know how much calories you should consume? But how can you find out how much calories uh, you are burning per day? Mm, how? It's easy. You take a certain amount of calories, let's say 2,000, okay? Okay. So you take 2,000 calories and you eat this for seven days in a row. Uh -huh. And then in seven days you can see what is happening when you eat 2,000 calories. Mm. Maybe you lose weight, mm. right? Maybe you gain weight. Yes. Maybe the weight stays the same. And if a weight stays the same, that's the perfect case because then you know what is your maintenance calories. So the first mistake that people are doing is they don't know where is their maintenance calories. Yeah. And second? Second. Uh, what is the next problem when you're dieting, huh? Maybe I'm going to write you a diet plan and you don't like the food I wrote you down, right? So you eat this stuff and every day you're like, ah, this is not nice. So what are you doing, gonna do, likely, if it's not nice? What should we eat uh, for diet? I mean, stop, this is gonna come later. <laughs> what is if the food is not nice, I was asking. <laughs> so if the food is not nice, you're probably not gonna stick to the diet. Then it means people that make it too complicated by choosing the wrong nutrients they're eating. You should have something enjoyable, right? Yep, yeah. yep, 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 yep. You just say yep. But yep, it's okay. yep, yep. Um, this is why I'm talking to you, right? I'm explaining. <laughs> Then is the next problem is that people, third problem, wait, the second one, let's finish this off. You're eating stuff you don't like and you're just not able to maintain this because you just don't like the food you should mm. eat in your diet. It's not enjoyable, so you can't stick to it. That was the second point. Magic drink. Wow. Good, no? Good, no? Um, the third point, right? Stay hydrated, my friends. <laughs> third mistake the people are doing is they are choosing a diet form they also don't like. Mm -hmm. Or they don't even know what kind of diet they like. Because there is a low carb, keto, low fat, vegan, carnivore diet, huh? plant-based, vegetarian, intermittent fasting, oh, every... I just try like no cup. Yeah, this is how you look like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. This is good, good. <laughs> keep, keep eating no carbs. <laughs> and um, so this is the problem. If you don't like what is enjoyable for you, so maybe I'm giving you a diet. Let's say you hire a coach and this guy says, you gotta do keto, bro. And you're like, fuck. I think this is not good for me. And you, you do this keto stuff and then what happens to you? Yeah? You feel like today? <laughs> How? I'm <laughs> so tired. Sick. See, this is not yeah. good. So you try another dif a different type of diet. 
and this one works for you. So I'm a big believer in intermittent fasting actually. That's what I like to do. So this is a third problem. You're not succeeding in your diet because you chose the wrong type of diet you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. I got it. Got it? I got it. Okay. <laughs> so the fourth <laughs> thing is your friends and family, people around you try to sabotage your diet. Uh-huh. Because uh -huh. Uh -huh. they don't even know what you're doing. What are you doing, my friend? What I'm doing? Yes. I'm taking video. Good. Keep recording. <laughs> So this is the problem, you know, like you get sabotaged because you can't sustain the diet because other people, they influence you mm. or you hang out with friends and they eat chips, so... I should eat chips, man. You should not eat chips. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> no one can see you, that's good actually. No, I'm just kidding. She's not fat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, this is the thing. This is the fourth problem people have. They get influenced by others and they sabotage their diet. Uh, Are, you do a set Are, you? First. Are you busy? Are you busy? One set. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> the last point the problem is the people have is they're burning out, you know. The problem is people are going too hard on the diet. That means you go so low and you're strict restricting yourself that much that you can't sustain the diet for long term. It's just the, it's like people are doing with the cheap meals on the weekends, right? You're starving all week long doing the car, you're suffering and shit, and then on the weekend you have one cheat day and they fucking it up with it one cheat I day. Like cheese day. Yeah, you can have a <laughs> fasting day. So you build up a calorie deficit over the week right this this is the amount you have are in the deficit and then on the cheat day you're eating so much food that you compensate for the deficit again and then overall you don't even have a deficit over seven days it means you don't even lost weight this is the problem people they don't control their cheat days and this is also why they don't succeed in the diet so that was five common points but then there's a lot of other things that you probably do wrong don't starve yourself too much you know also, really important is drink a lot of water that helps. Mm -hmm. Drink a lot of water that helps. I'm drinking a lot of tea that helps, you know? Mm -hmm. Coffee helps me also getting through the day, black coffee. Mm -hmm. And then and when you eat, maybe you start off your meals with a salad or with something that has low calories, but it's a lot of food. And then you bring in the afterwards, you bring in the, the, the whole foods, and then you stuff yourself with that. Or you, like I said, find the, find the balance, you know? Find what kind of foods you like. And I'm always doing like huge meals. Volume eating with low calories, that's what I do. Okay guys, that's it, five axes. Uh, are you even here, my friends? Good. Keep hearing. And um, what are we gonna do next? What are we gonna do next? That, that's it, finish. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Uh, that's it pretty much. Five, whatever, you know. Keep pumping. I totally forgot to what to say, you know. I'm fucked in the head. Because my camera woman fucked up. Again. <laughs> so. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. Five diet, blah, blah, blah. Keep um, going. And if you want to do, subscribe to the channel. And if not, then see you never again, my friends. <laughs> Goodbye. Complain me a lot bye, bye, today. Bye, bye, bye.